Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to another video I mean our Islamic video and uh, today we are going to talk about the jinn Iblis why Allah discovered uh, Iblis I mean the fire jinn today we'll discover it yes only Allah knows better but uh, we human have some brains so let's get into the video but before if you new to this channel don't forget to subscribe we live in almighty Allah's world and we are only a command or order the almighty Allah so all the game is is one and only from Allah where it wills to do some does so as Allah isn't accountable for anyone or anything whatsoever because Allah can't do injustice to its creations stay with the video you will understand in fact we really didn't have the authority to argue over this issue where we are just the creation of Almighty Allah I mean the order of Almighty Allah with some free will in this earth and I think Allah is just checking our Iman and loyalty to Almighty Allah. Iblish itself is the command of Almighty Allah, where it having a free will, same like human, where it contains the sorcery power itself. I mean, the Iblis contains the sorcery power by the grace of Allah. When Allah created Adam and gave command or order over Adam, like Allah gave command to soil like Kun and it got structured and by the mercy and the order of Allah, we got our life. We having the spirit by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and where Allah give Adam brain a ram and memory a wrong and the consciousness a spiritual essence of Almighty Allah the angel and Iblis was commanded to prostrate over Adam it refused and being arrogant and envy over the materialistic elements like soil fire water wind etc and Allah showed its power to its best why not to disobey Almighty Allah Satan was following the command of one and only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but when Adam commanded Iblis by the help of Allah to prostrate there. He refused to obey Allah's order. Rather, Iblis wasn't intelligent enough why Allah's command came by this way to Iblis to prostrate. Iblis was right in a way that it will not prostrate a less powerful thing which is not directly Almighty Allah, but just the order having a free will comes with consciousness and intelligence. But sadly, Iblis wasn't known of Allah's best creation human being on that time. We, this term in the Quran specifically presents Allah and its command where Allah is the unique supreme entity and the human and jinn is the command or order of Allah like we human and Iblis and all the things are the order of Allah with a free will like all the things around a seen or unseen is the command of Allah in a sense we represent the supremacy of Almighty Allah where Allah and its command like we human and jinn can be the same thing Allah is always the greatest. When Allah ordered Iblis in Quran calling upon we in Quran in represents uh, uh, Almighty Allah and its power. The order Adam prostrate to Adam. The uh, we represents the highness of Almighty Allah. Also Allah's order contain a unique character like free will. Iblis was the first enemy of human from the beginning as they are the open enemy but we the people of the world kind of blind over them and certainly fall for it most of the time without our concern. Iblis let us fear the situation of poverty where everything of this universe including us belongs to one and only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where the fear seems so big that people start to do bad bad means, I mean bad things. Another falsehood of Iblis is the riba where we contradict the riba as a business style like we share the money in return we receive the profit for our livelihood but allah is strictly said about the trade with either service or products not within a stock currency i mean money in return of extra money highly prohibited in islam we need to be careful about the day of judgment where we all have to face almighty allah iblis refused to obey allah command at where allah give us a big example of what may happen when Allah's order been disobeyed. Likely, Iblis has been expelled from the heaven. Iblis 
was expelled from Allah's mercy from paradise and he has been cursed until the day of judgment. Means Iblis will be normal on the day of judgment as fire harden the soil as well as the Iblis solidify our Iman and the faith and they teach us what should we do or what we shouldn't do. But certainly you need those perceptions to observe so. How we will stay away from Iblis, I mean the bad gene or how you can cope with the chain. Iblis stands ahead of human and think of that he is better than human. Only cause of creation of mud where he is created by the fire. Where Iblis is collecting the hell materials by deceiving the main thing that human got from almighty slash. Iblis made full human the way Adam did Iblis for the first time. All the place is almighty Allah's. Though Iblis think he is better one and he will not prostrate over the false one because Iblis only prays to Almighty Allah. Though he was cursed by Allah and he had the power to deceive, spread the falsehood around the world. In fact, if we have to prove that we are the best creation of Almighty Allah, certainly we have to prove to Almighty Allah where a free will can do whatever it wants. Like as from free will, Iblis disobeyed us and received the curse. Remember, a curse is not a direct punishment, rather a challenge. Like if you are better than them, prove it. Prove it with your brain and power and let's see the ratio. Allah gives us a big lesson while Allah cars Iblis. Only the wise one can understand as when human formed and give life by the Almighty Allah, Iblis got confused where it made the mistakes. All the praise to Almighty Allah and yeah, a human being is the greatest creation of Almighty Allah whatsoever. Allah. Iblis stated in Quran that Satan will come to human from before them, from behind them and on their right and on their left and Allah will not find most of them grateful to Almighty Allah. Iblis will just invite us and we responded to Iblis accordingly. So do not blame Iblis but blame ourselves. As a cursed free will, it will not harm those who are very honest and pious to the Almighty Allah while it will not have enough power to divert them from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Iblis is the biggest example of the free will where we have to face the ultimate consequence where Iblis being a free will get upon a curse and will be punished about the sins it occurred in the ultimate judgment day where Allah stated that Allah will fill the hell with the jinn and insan I mean the human so Iblis and human will be the item of the hellfire so be responsible what you are doing on the other hand there is a huge interesting role of Iblis played for human beings where Allah created human to send them in earth if Adam Salam and Eva Salam didn't be safe and wouldn't do the sins we couldn't may have the earth life that's why Allah sent Hajar al-Assad divine stone with Adam I mean the black stone will collect our sins and make us sinless what a miracle that Allah already knows our all Subhanallah. As Allah wanted to send human in the earth, where if Adam salam and if Allah salam remained in Jannah forever, then we really didn't have the chance to be born. Where our birth confirmed our journey to the earth, if they didn't commit the sin, they didn't have the chance to get in the earth, and the purpose of human wouldn't match in the creation. Later Allah would have created another species that will do accordingly. Since Allah has chosen us, we have to follow the guidance from our own good. That's why Allah also created a free will soul like jinn and it shows us the path to follow it from the scratch which means don't disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Again, Iblis was an interesting creation of Almighty Allah where it will strengthen our Iman with just like the fire burned up the soil to make it harder. Very interesting science behind it and Allah is the best scientist, the best physician and the most merciful of the best Allah. and that's all from today guys hope you all understand the context and see you all soon with another islamic video till then have fun good luck and peace